Good evening. First, I'd like to congratulate Lance, Leslie, and Frank. They ran the program for quite a while and did a great job. I'm also excited for the future of our program with our new administrator, David Garcia, Director of Training Cody, and coordinators Ralph and Max. But tonight, being here is like coming home. Much of what I have achieved, I have achieved came from my apprenticeship. Completed an apprenticeship like you have done. Congratulating, graduating like you have done. I went to a graduation dinner with my fellow sheet metal workers, men like you. My name is Michael Dean and I'm one of you. Completing your apprenticeship is a great accomplishment, but it also, it's also a new beginning. Your apprenticeship is behind you, but a great future awaits you and your family because of what you've accomplished in the last five years. I hope you all have long, thriving careers, but it's a constant education, learning the trade, learning how to work with other people, learning how to lead people. You've got to keep up with the changes in the industry. Let me tell you a little bit about how this played out in my life and career. After I graduated, I became a foreman and I was given a company truck and a two-story building to run. I was an apprentice, as an apprentice, I thought I knew everything about construction, about air conditioning, until I got the two-story building to run. As a foreman, I found out that I didn't know near as much as I thought. Uh, I, got in a, I had uh, a lot of problems. As a matter of fact, when I was an apprentice, I remember a, a suggesting we run a, a duck run differently with the journeyman that I was working with. And he's like, no, no, I've been doing this for 25 years. And I said, well, maybe you've been doing it wrong for 25 years. You ever thought about that? Anyway, that became the joke. Oh, Mike, all, all the journeymen would be like, oh, Mike says we've been doing it wrong for 25 years. Uh, anyway, but I, we ran it the way the journeyman wanted, of course. Uh, I didn't know a, a lot when I first started running work. I had a lot of trouble. I would stay after, after the job, after everybody left, and I'd fix the problems that I created. Fixing duct work, uh, laying out openings through walls that I missed. As a matter of fact, I also discovered that drywall framers love Johnny Walker whiskey. <laughs> I found that out because when I missed the openings, I'd have to go up to them and mm -hmm. offer them some whiskey to do it for me and not charge me, Char not charge my company. So I ended up buying many, many fifths of Johnny Walker whiskey. That, that first job became a real learning experience for me. But I became a very good foreman, good detailer. We had a small company where you would detail the ductwork, install it, run the crews. I left that company and went to work for the company that I'm at now, I'm an owner at now. I was hired on just as a journeyman and quickly became a foreman again. While working at Air Masters, uh, as a foreman, I started taking journeyman upgrade classes at night. Uh, I'd been a foreman and detailer for nine years, but I wanted to hone my skills and, and create more skills for myself. Uh, my favorite class was AutoCAD. I've always liked computers. I work with computers a lot at home. I would hang duck during the day and I would rebuild computers at home at night just because I was into it. I was on the web back when there was nothing on the web but text. But it was just to me, that was a lot of fun back then. Uh, so the, I kept taking CAD classes. Soon Air Masters bought a CAD system, the company I was working for. So I'm out in the field working about it, and I heard it was upstairs in an office for like three months, but nobody knew how to run it. So one day I walked into the owner's office, and I said, I know that system in there. I've been taking classes, and I can run that system if you want. He was like, he didn't even know me. I was like a field foreman, one of half a dozen. He said, well, go give it a try. We'll see. And about three days later, they gave me like three jobs to detail on the computer. So I ended up running the CAD program for Air Masters for quite a while. As I was running the program, I would still take journeyman. Uh, so I was running doing CAD at work, and I would take journeyman classes still on CAD, just try to upgrade my skills and keep things going. Well, eventually, I get a call from the JATC. That's the training institute that I was taking the classes for. They call up and say, hey, our instructor has a health issue. Our CAD instructor has a health issue. So can you teach? I was like, oh yeah, sure, I'll teach. 
well, when's the semester start? Next week. And I'm like, I've never taught before. So, uh, I lost my place here. I've never taught before. But uh, I went in there, and for the first 10 minutes, I was pretty nervous. But then I just had the, I knew the knowledge, I knew the program, and about t after 10 minutes, I calmed down and taught the class and continued to teach. Then as, as I was teaching at Air Masters, the CAD work slowed down, so I became the general superintendent, running all the field and shop crews. And one day I get a call, or we, we lost our administrator uh, at the JATC. And the coordinator at the time, Sid Berard, moved into that position and they put out applications for coordinator. I put in my application, I got the job. So then I went to work for the apprenticeship for six years, quit my contracting job. Uh, my administrator, Sid, which many of you know, was a great influence. He was a great sheet metal worker, a real professional, a uh, great teacher, great administrator, and we remain friends to this day. Remember, this all started because I was taking journeyman upgrade classes. I didn't just stick with my job. I had a good, successful job, but I took journeyman upgrade classes to try to hone my skills. After six years at the JATC, I decided to leave and go back to my other company, Air Masters, as a project manager with the goal of someday being part owner. Well, several years ago, I bought in, and now I'm one of the owners of the company. I'm partners with that same owner who I walked into his office and said, hey, I can run your CAD program. And now we're partners, so it worked out pretty good. Uh, the reason I've gone through all this is to let you know you should be proud of yourself, your families, your fellow classmen, and class people, and teachers that you've gone through this. Things change, you need to be, be prepared for change. You need a combination of skills. Find your combination of skills. In conclusion, my bottom line here is congratulations on what you've achieved. But remember, this is an ever-changing industry. So always challenge yourself, work personally, and have a great career. Remember, journeyman is a journey. Good luck. Good night. Can I say something? One of the things?